In this tutorial we're going to look at using RadPHP to create a database PHP page. Here you can see for the battleship database uh, we're going to use the hits table. I just create a new form, PHP form, and here I set up the connection to the database which is just on the local host. So I go add new connection, MySQL, put in the name of the connection which I'm going to call battleship, and once I've got this then I'm going to add the uh, properties for the connection such as the database name and server name and user and password. And once I've done this you'll see hopefully a successful connection where you can explore the database and here you can see the tables. Now all I do is drag and drop the table and it creates all the components, the database component table and data source with the database grid view I'm then going to save this form straight into the XAMP htdocs folder under a folder where I've got the current uh, RPCL components installed. So here I'm going to call it Battleship and you see the RPCL folder there which has all the components from RadPHP which my form will need. Now I'll jump to my web browser, put in localhost and then I will select the battleship PHP that I've just saved and really quickly we've got the results from the table displayed in a grid component within the web page now if I want to actually add just a field I can go down further and explore to the field and drag and drop the field there and because the database table and data source components are already there it uses it now when I refresh you'll notice that it doesn't appear and this is because of the caching on the web server. One way to avoid or to get around this is to actually go in and uh, delete the cache file. So this is under the TMP folder of Apache in this case and once you delete them you can then just refresh your page and then you should find this new field has appeared there and you've got the one there. And that's it. We're uh, up and running with a simple database application.